Welcome back to Rasmus Danka TV. Another episode. Another one. Another one. Another one. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you stepped by. I hope I will entertain you the next five minutes with a amazing cocktail. A twist on a classic one today. It's a passion fruit gabardinia. It's really simple to make. You don't need that many ingredients. It's a nice summer twist on the classic. Cabrinha Brazil cocktail. We're making a twist on it with some passion fruit. If you like summer, then yeah, I think you'll enjoy this one. And before we start, I need to ask if you are in the cocktail family. Because this is the cocktail family of the internet. You have just arrived too. So if I were you, I would smack that button. You can just hit that button and then we have a connection. Then you're in the family and you want to be in the cocktail family. Uh, great, in our passion fruit cabrinha, we have passion fruit syrup, cane sugar, yeah, cane sugar, woo! Cachaça, Brazilian national spirit. It's made of sugar cane juice, a bit like a rum. Instead of made of molasses, then it's made of sugar cane juice. And then it's from Brazil, which gives it a flavor that is not like a rum. Some lime. Yeah, light. Fresh passion fruit, a crystal glass to serve it in, crust ice. Yeah, woo! If you don't have the passion fruit syrup, then you can also use passion fruit juice. Today we are using just passion fruit syrup. And then we also need some bar equipment to make this cocktail. A muddler. Woo! Muddler! We need a bar spoon! A long Nice spoon, a jigger, a measuring tool. First things first, then we start off with our glass. We cut a lime. We need one lime for this cocktail. So after cutting your lime, then you put it down in the glass. Next, you take your bar spoon, and then you take two bar spoons of cane sugar. Then you use your muddler, and we muddle the whole thing. Next up guys, we fill the glass with lots of crust ice. Then we take our Brazilian rum and we take 5 centiliters of cachaça. We put 1 centiliter of passion fruit syrup. We squeeze Half a lime. And yeah, so you also need this Mexican elbow, a squeezer. You can also just squeeze by hand. Use your handcraft. Yeah, handcraft. Oh yeah. What you want to do next, you take your bar spoon and then you churn your cocktail. And we need a napkin for that. Napkin, come at me. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, wait. <laughs> Great, napkin! <laughs> we churn the cocktail. Now we just top the cocktail with ice. And then we garnish with some passion fruit. And a straw, of course. I need a straw! Come, please! Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Actually, we need another straw. Another one! Yeah. <laughs> and here goes. A cabrinha with passion fruit. <laughs> Let me check if it is as good as it looks. <sighs> Yummy. All right, guys, I think you should make this one. No matter if summer is coming or not, then we should celebrate summer or we should make it come faster. And I think that's done by making a passion fruit cabrinha. Yeah. To end with another small wrap for you. Yeah, this is another wrap. Dude, I hope you enjoyed life on you too. You don't have to travel that far to taste a cabrinha. So don't wait, celebrate, and no matter if you're into high tech or if you're old fashioned, then I think you should follow your path.
Passion! Boom! Rasmus Danka TV! Smack that button and subscribe to this channel. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Because if you are there and I'm there, then it's gonna be. Woo! Then it's gonna be up here, you know. We're breaking the scale of awesomeness. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So that's the date. You need to put it in your calendar. I'll see you in the next video. Have fun. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your weekdays. Just enjoy your life. See you over and out. Boom!